Okay, so in this video, we're just going to have a quick look at how we can resolve a quick bug in Elementor. So you can kind of see we've got this page, it's sort of half finished. Um, I, I kind of started it and then came back to it another time. And we've got the, it's set up in Elementor, but what you'll find is when we come to here and we click edit with Elementor, we just get this message, the page can't be found, it looks like there's nothing in the location. So, you know, don't be concerned. The the actual template is still there that you built it on um, the problem is just the way it's loading it in and specifically uh, this happens a lot for me on stage insight so you can see up here you know i've got like a temp domain website it's not kind of like a fixed url so uh, that's quite often where i kind of find these issues happen but what you can do is if we we'll just copy that out we'll jump into the dashboard of the site and then if you just hover over Elementor and then you want to go to the settings and then up here you've got four options and you just want the advanced tab and then you can see here we've got switch editor loader method and if you go onto that and click enable and then you can see down here as well it says for troubleshooting server configuration conflicts which like I say I think that's what we're having here so uh, if we hit save and then you'll find if we go back to this page and then what we want to do is just go back to the actual page that had the template on it so this is our Elementor kind of template here and we just hit edit with Elementor again and then you'll see Elementor's kind of like loaded up and we've got an editable page again. So kind of don't get don't get concerned if um, you kind of notice that's happening. You can just switch that over. It's quick and easy. So, um, yeah, hopefully that helped. If it did, give this video a like. If you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe.